A small patch of concrete in the village of Kirby Misperton has become the subject of the most controversial planning decision the county council has ever made. It wasn't the decision these protesters wanted. Anti-fracking campaigners from across the country who'd gathered outside County Hall in North Yorkshire in the hope of seeing permission for a new site refused. But councillors in Northallerton voted in favour, leaving the protesters plotting. Villagers near the site voiced concerns about traffic, about noise, about potential contamination of the water table from the fracking process. Their objections were set aside. But residents like Julie say the fight is not over. It's just not fair. It's not fair, but we won't stop fighting. We will not stop fighting this because it's not right for my village and it's not right for Rydale. Around 10 years ago, this well site was the scene of national and international focus, the centre of a bitter debate on the extraction of natural gas using a controversial method called fracking. Over the years that followed, public opinion forced the UK government to pass a moratorium banning the use of fracking in the UK in 2019. The site at the centre of the controversy, and where you sit today, now hosts the world's first commercial-scale demonstration to take a former gas well, designed to produce hydrocarbons, and repurposing it to produce clean geothermal energy. Serafi are an integrated geothermal energy development company. Using the heat beneath our feet, Serafi aims to decarbonize heat, using their proprietary Serafi well system technology. The Serafi well, works through conduction, taking the heat that is present at the bottom of the well, to the surface, where it is processed for its required energy use. In September last year, Serafi Energy were awarded and match-funded grant from the Net Zero Technology Centre. The NZTC is a UK government technology accelerator platform, designed to support innovation and technology. Geothermal energy is not only 100% renewable, but baseload, meaning it can operate 24-7, night and day, and can be made available anywhere, for everyone. Serafi commence activities on site in early August, the first stage of the project involved testing the well to ensure its integrity. Pressure and temperature logs were taken, along with inspecting the internal ovality by running several drifts or gauge tools to ensure the tubing was not deformed. The Serafi well system was made up of 2-inch HDPE pipe known as high-density polyethylene, to increase integrity and allow the fitting of centralizers and other technical components. Over 160, 12-meter sections were specially welded together on-site by the Serafi team. In total, over 160 joints will have been made, over a period of around two weeks, reaching a total depth of 2,000 meters, using a custom-designed scaffold and injector system. The injector system enabled the Serafi team to tweak the installation configuration in order to design a bespoke system, incorporating all the site modifications within the final deployment design of the Serafi well process. HDPE pipe normally has a low temperature threshold, however the Serafi team has broken records, installing this system to 2000 meters and to the maximum designed operating temperature of 90 degrees Celsius. Once the desired depth of pipe installation was achieved, the well head was installed, and the interconnecting surface pipework was connected to the Serafi True Unit, another proprietary Serafi design. The Serafi True Unit will operate for a number of weeks, capturing real time data, used to further refine and adapt the performance of the Serafi well system design, validating previous assumptions and confirming engineering theories. The demonstrator project is of global importance and has gained the support of private and public organisations from across the globe. It's really important we get this kind of investment in new technology, so uh, really welcome their investment, uh, but also the government investment in it as well. The uh, Net Zero and Technology Centre has also put money in here to pump prime what's happening here and to, and to make sure this technology will work in practice. And it's great to see this happening and, and I'll take the message back to energy ministers that um, it's money well spent. This is basically one of the solutions and if third energy you know which was leading the the fracking in the uk at one point if they can provide the solution i mean what a fantastic uh, so story that is it's great to see what's happening here what a wonderful new use for it still an energy use of course but completely different energy completely renewable energy source and really delighted at seraph's investment here and third energy and 
uh, I'm delighted that the government supported it. This kind of innovation will definitely be part of the solution for the future. If projects like this are very critical in helping to reach net zero goals, uh, initiatives like this will help to accelerate a lot of the pace of the project in order to, for us to meet our net zero target for 2050. But this could be rolled out across the country in urban areas to heat people's homes. And we know one of the toughest things to decarbonise will be heating for people's homes and commercial buildings. But here's the solution of decarbonising those buildings and that heating.